<laughs> oh man, you know, sometimes when you push that that go live button, you're a little more confident. <laughs> this time it's crazy. I can't believe I posted. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> but I'm working with a product called Sell You Clay. My hands are covered because I've been over at my craft club. Um, we've been making um, eggs and peeps and carrots to do a future craft with. And I signed off with those girls and I thought I would come over here. I have some leftover clay. I have a ball of leftover clay. And of course, we can't throw it away, right? And that how many peeps and carrots and eggs does a girl need? So I'm just messing around. And so I thought I would come over here and let you guys join me. Now, my kitchen's a mess. My, my kitchen is a mess, but if I took the time to clean it up, I wouldn't do it. So I'm jumping on here. Um, hello, friends. And I'm going to give you a little taste of what it's like to be in my craft club. Um, because that's what we're that's what we're about to do here. Um, and I want to make a little bunny. <laughs> or try. Um, so I just took some aluminum foil and I wadded it up in a ball. Okay. I wadded it up in a ball. I'm going to tip you guys down. You don't need to be watching me. Just let's just, whoop, let's just drop down here and you guys can watch me do this. And this is what it'll be like if you, um, or when you get in my club because it's awesome over there. And I bring you guys all kinds of really cool, uh, projects. Whoops. Really cool projects. And I have been, it's probably of all of the things, the weddings, the painting, the store, my even my chocolate tour. This is probably my favorite thing I've been doing. I absolutely love it and I love the girls in the group and it's just been great. So I made two balls, one a little bigger than the other, just a little bit. I'm taking the cell you clay, which, um, you know, I go into detail how to do that in the group, but you just add water. If you get a box, I had a pound box. Um, if you get a box of it, you'll be able to see uh, the directions on the box. Um, if you wanna watch me actually make it, join my club for the month. It's $27 and we've already got uh, about four crafts in maybe, something like that. And we are gearing up for our big, big one that I'm excited about. I think I've told you guys all about this craft. So um, because of the weather, I wasn't able to get outside and get some wood that I needed to get for it. So I've been keeping them entertained with some other little things I've come up with. Okay, so I just covered the foil with the um, clay. Now there's, there's two reasons. One is just so you can get an idea of what your project is going to look like. And the second one is that you don't have this huge ball of clay that you're waiting on to dry. Now you can put it in the oven to dry it, which is what I'll be doing. I'm going to leave these. I'll show you guys what I made. Um, but I'm not going to show you how I made them because you have to be in the club, <laughs> but, um, I'll show you what, what we're doing. And then when it's all done, I'll give you at least a sneak peek of it. If I don't show, you know, I try not to show the whole projects because I don't think it's fair to the girls that are paying to be in there. So I'm, I'm really being careful with that. So I don't know how to make a bunny. If you guys remember before I had started this craft club, we did a snowman. Um, thinking a bunny nose is, oh yeah, that's kind of, he looks kind of, kind of bunny-ish. I'm just pressing in to make some eyes here. You got to have a little bit of an imagination, but there's some eyes pressed in there and a little nose. Now I don't, oh gosh, I need, I need like my husband's way more artistic than me. But yeah, that could be, that could go for a bunny. So I'm going to set this on top here. Now, when I did my snowmen, I know I'm probably jumping around here. When I did my snowmen, um, as they were drying, they came apart. They weren't staying together very well. I've done a toothpick uh, and set in it on a toothpick, but honestly, when, when they came apart, I just used E6000 and glued them back together and they were awesome. So I didn't even have to worry. So I'm not gonna mess with the toothpick, but if you want, you could put a toothpick down in the bottom ball and then set the head on that. I don't know if this looks like a bunny or not. He will when I'm all done with him because he'll be white and we'll do the pink nose and all that stuff, so. Okay, so then I took some foil here and I just wadded it up and I'm trying to make ears, 
okay? So just wadding it up and trying to make bunny ears like that. So I kind of, oh, that, this one's better than this one, but it won't be when I cover it. So we're gonna shape it out with the clay, okay? So I'm gonna smash it down. I can't see if anybody's asking any questions or saying hello. I've got my iPad right here, but my fingers are so covered. Um, it's not coming. Oh, let's see here. Tammy, oh, no, I don't want my craft club. I want, what do I want? Um, okay, let me, sorry, I wanna keep going so I don't lose you guys' interest, but um, when I can get my iPad to work, I can see your comments come in and that works out really, really nicely. But of course, it just keeps spinning, it's thinking. It's been thinking since I've been on here, so I don't think it's gonna, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna snap out of it. All right, so now I'm gonna make some ears. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I kind of miss crafting with all of you. You know, but it's nice to be in that little private group so when your kitchen looks like crap, it's okay. <laughs> it's not everybody. <laughs> Those girls don't care. They're like, let's just do make something fun. We don't care about your kitchen. And typically, I've been being in the craft room, honestly, but out here with this, I wanted to be out here. Of course, I had to have... Well, I can't tell you what I can't tell you why you have to be in the club. <laughs> Isn't that mean? That's so mean. Okay. All right. So, and, and honestly, I've learned from doing the vintage Santas with this and the snowmen and their hats and all that stuff. If some of the foil shows, it doesn't matter if you're going to paint it out. It does matter. Oh, I might have it too big. <laughs> I do have it too big. Dang, okay, let's let's cut this down a little bit. See if I can rip that foil. <laughs> um, if, you, uh, if you have a little bit of foil showing, it doesn't matter if you're painting it. If you're gonna leave them raw, now they're gray right now because they're wet, but when it dries, it dries snow white. And that's an awesome vintage look if you're doing the farmhousey sort of look, you know, to leave your little Valentine hearts or your snowmen or whatever, and you just leave them white. That's still pretty, uh, but I love those ears. Dang, if I can keep them on there while he's drying, I might lay him down in the oven. Maybe that's what I'll do. So I've got him sitting so that his bottom's getting flat so that he'll sit up. But I gotta get the other ear on there. He's gonna fall over. Can you see him so far? Here's what I got so far. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing around, you guys. Okay, so I know that the other ear was too big. So that ought to be pretty close. So I'm just going to start covering this foil again. And it's just nice. You could just forget the foil part, but it is kind of nice to feel what it's going to look like before you start and it offers you a little uh, filler so that you don't have that much clay. These will go in the oven. Uh, well, this will, and then all the things that I made here will go in the oven. I'll probably let them sit overnight just to kind of dehydrate a little bit, and they're going in the oven just to dehydrate. So if you leave them sit on your counter for a day or two, they'll dry, but um, I know when I was doing the Santa faces, they took a little while longer, so I, I put them in the oven for a little while. Oh, that's still bigger. Well, let's see if I can get this ripped. Keep cutting her down. Um, but anyway, you just put it in the oven to dehydrate it a little bit. And that makes it, um, that makes it dry and it turns white. And then you guys can paint this stuff or not. Like I said, you do not have to paint it. Now this ear doesn't look like the same kind of ear as that other ear, so let's keep let's keep molding here. Let's see if we can't make them somewhat somewhat matchy matchy. <laughs> okay, I hope Millie's watching. There's a gal. Uh, her name is Millie, and she went crazy with this stuff after my video as crazy as I did and started making all of the things that I made and oh my gosh she's had so much fun sharing her pictures of things that she's made I hope she's on here to see this <laughs> she'll get a kick out of him for sure I'll have to share him to her messenger page if I don't see her here okay so that's probably about oh I, oh he needs a tail okay so I might do the tail just as a separate thing and hook that on later um let's make a ball with some 
foil. Oh my gosh, my book is going to be covered. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half because I want his tail, of course, to be smaller than his body. So then we'll put some, I'm not answering any comments, you guys. My phone is down. Like I have to get down, like way down on my counter to see you. I see a couple of text bubbles there, so I don't know what you're saying. If you'd like the link to my craft club to see everything we're doing this month, because of course, you know, spring is a great month for crafting. Um, go to Tammy Loves, T-A-M-I. L-O-V-E-S dot com. And at the top, you'll see Tammy Loves Craft Club. It's $27 a month. You can get in and craft with me and get out when you're done. It does not matter. You can stay as long as you like. We are leaving all of the crafts in at this time so that if you join now, you'll get all of February's crafts. We just started this in February, so it's very, very, very new for us. Um, okay, so I'm trying to... Like, I want that to look a little hairy. <laughs> like, I don't want it to be smooth, so I'm not sure how to do that. Yeah, that's working. I'm just sticking some to it and letting the, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull is what I'm doing. Instead of rolling it like I was, I'm pulling to add a little texture. And some of it's sticking and some of it isn't. I'm just trying to make it look a little furry. Let's get another piece here. Okay, so I'm making my bunny tail. Okay, my husband's been out razor riding again today. So, whoops. So, you can hear him playing the music in the garage. He's trying to clean it up. I don't know what he's listening to now. <laughs> he listens to the funniest things. Okay, ooh, that's almost too big, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can s snip some of this off of here. <laughs> He's having a real hoe down up there tonight. Okay. Oh, that's okay, that's cute. We like the, we have emphasis on the tail and the ears, which is the best part of the bunny, right? Okay. So here he is. I'm probably going to take his head off. <laughs> I know that sounds gruesome. I'm probably going to take his head off um, so that he won't fall over or anything and um, dry him out that way and then reattach his head with the E6000 once he's dry. You can't do it right now with him being so, so wet. So, And then if I decide like this area right here, if I'm not crazy for that, uh, once he's dry, I can add a ribbon there. I can do anything I want. So it would be cute to figure out whiskers. I'll have to think about that. And I'll give all those secrets to the girls in the craft club. But I signed off. They don't even know I'm doing this part. But I'm sure they're, I know they're on my page, so they'll probably see it. Um, okay, that's where it hooks together here. So here he is. He's going to dry out really, really cute. So here he is. <laughs> I'll have to show him when he's done and you guys will be like, oh yeah, he is cute, right? You have faith in me, don't you? <laughs> Here's his little tail. Whoops, I'm losing it because I've got it flipped around so you could read that word on the box. So here, here you go. And so I've got a little bit left over. I might make a few more eggs in case I put him in a little display. Maybe I'll lay some eggs around with him. So I'm gonna take him apart though. And I've, I've got him to where once he's dry, I can glue him back together. I'll work on some eggs. All I was doing with the eggs is I put a little teeny ball in my hand and I was rolling this, okay? And then I would just kind of try to make them be little ovalish shaped like that. Just kind of like an egg would be. And they're rough, but you know. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. Taking a little ball rolling it. I had tried, I did three of them with the foil inside. It was too, for all the bigger that they are, it was too hard to make it stick to the foil. So I didn't mess with the foil on the eggs. I just found it to be easier not to. So they're gonna take a little while longer to dry and they may do a little bit of cracking and stuff, but I, that's what makes it look vintagey. So I am fine with that. Okay, that one's not doing an oval thing. That's better, okay. Um, and I think when you get them all in a big pile, it's not gonna be that big of a fuss. 
Okay, we'll do one more together and then I'll do the rest of these uh, after I sign off. But I'm gonna show you what I made in the craft club. Now, remember, they're not finished. This is just step one. And I'll have to, you know, show the girls what I'm gonna do next. I don't think they'll mind if I show you. I'll show you the good, I've got kind of a mess going, but here, let me show you. So I have a whole bunch of eggs. I have a whole bunch of eggs here and they're starting to dry. And then we've made some peeps, and then we've made some carrots. Now my carrots might need a little bit of trimming. I see, um, you know, these are a little hard to get molded in there. So yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of shape them up a little bit here before they dry. You can chip some of that off, but it's a lot easier when they're wet. And then I'm sticking a bobby pin in I can't tell you why, but I'm sure you can guess why. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you so I can hang them. I'm gonna hang them on a garland. <laughs> Some of them, now I made extra carrots. I made a bunch of extra carrots because I wanna be able to lay them around. And I'll show you in the club, I always show you guys like what I do with the projects once we make them because sometimes it's like, oh yeah, that's really cute, but what do you do with it? So I show you what I do with it too. Or I tell you, and I give you lots of options, you know, lots of ideas so that you guys can do whatever you want. So, there you go. And if you do if you do get in and you're like, I'm not going to all that trouble, I told them a way to not have to do this. Um, and so, that's about all I can tell you without telling you too much. So there you go. So anyway, I'm gonna work on cleaning these up. I'm gonna finish making some eggs tonight. Let me flip you up here to say goodbye. And thanks for joining me to watch me make my little bunny. That was fun. I hope he turns out cute because I'm only going to make one. <laughs> so we'll see. So, okay, you guys, thanks for watching. Let me see if I had any. Oh, just hellos. Oh, you like that, Debbie? Thank you. Hi, Abby. Oh, you remember making the Santa with me? Cool. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Hi, Vicki. You just, oh, you just recorded your lunch, making your healthy lunch. Oh, that's awesome. I shared your Instagram. This is my daughter, Abby. She lives in California. She's the model that shared her makeup with you guys. Um, she's been trying to up her Instagram. I shared her video. Hey, Debbie. Hi, looking back through. Okay, that's all my messages, so no questions. That means I'm a good explainer, right? So, all right, one last little glimpse at my bunny. Here he is. There he is. Oh, what's that? What's going on right there? Oh, it's just a big cutout. But I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe I should. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm going to take this thing. I need to round his nose out a little bit better. I wonder if I added. Oh, I don't know. This is rounding out pretty good. I don't want it to look like a person. And <laughs> but how cute if I could get something to stick out like whiskers. What do you guys think? Hey, Terry, thank you. I get this top at my shop. I have it in blue and pink and white. And I tried to post it in a store. I tried to do the store thing online and I couldn't figure it out with the clothing, but I did figure it out with the handmade jewelry. So I will be linking these um, tops. And I appreciate you, I appreciate that. If you're interested, you'll be able to grab one. So I'm trying that first, I didn't get them very even. Well, that worked. That works, doesn't it? Gosh, it looks so much better on camera. Paintbrush hairs. Yeah, I was trying to think of what could I stick out of it, like, like El Dente Pasta. You know what I mean? Like something that would stick out. Um, like dental floss would not be, um, dental floss wouldn't be strong enough to stick out. So I was thinking I might just have to carve it in there. I don't know. Well, I can tell you that I'll at least give you a picture of part of him, if not all of him. So um, you guys will be able to see again. I need to talk to my girls in my craft club and see how they feel about me sharing things and kind of, you know, I don't want to lose anybody for any reason. So I want to be very faithful to my, to my ladies. So um, we'll see. I liked it like that though. They looked really cute, but I would love to stick something in there. Hmm. 
I'll think on it. If I come up with anything, you guys will see the picture of it. And if I don't, you'll see those little cuts. So, okay. I like the paintbrush. Oh, wait a minute. You mean, wait a minute, Terry. Do you mean pull the hairs out of a paintbrush and stick them in? Do you ever not do anything? <laughs> you know what I just did, Miss Shayla? I just watched the cutest movie on Netflix. Um, Randy was out riding and I was watching through all of the movies and I didn't want scary and I didn't want mushy and I didn't feel like laughing. <laughs> so I didn't want a comedy and you know what I want the night oh Debbie I gotcha okay so I watched Christopher Robin and um, Winnie the Pooh where Christopher Robin's all grown up oh you guys it was adorable and actually one of the um, one of the sayings that they said was um, they were um, busy not doing anything or something like that I don't know I went and made a little meme for you guys to post on here one of these days toothpicks and paint them out that might work if I cut them in half actually that might work better than the bristles on a brush let's try it you guys got a minute you want to let's try it and see all right let's try and see let me grab my toothpicks I'm a mess <laughs> I'm a mess but what the heck okay let me see where's my toothbrush holder or my toothpick holder here it is okay let me grab my toothpick holder here Grab some out. Let me grab some scissors. Oh, okay. All right. Let me flip you down here. Let's see what we come up with. Thanks for that idea, Deborah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a whirl here. Let's just see what happens. Let me see if I can get my iPad to work now. Uh, but yes, I highly recommend Christopher Robin. I mean, you have to have your um, you have to have your imagination hat on and you're like especially if you have little kids it was adorable and you know I even teared up a little bit at one part <laughs> that's so me though my mom wouldn't let me watch Lassie as a little kid because I cried on every episode <laughs> she got tired of it so I wasn't allowed to watch Lassie <laughs> I've told you guys that before oh man whoops I'm such a boohooer <laughs> any little thing just breaks my heart <laughs> Oh shoot, I'm shooting them across the floor. That's two I'm gonna have to go looking for. Let's see if I can hold it here. Oh, that's a better idea. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all I need. So, okay, where's my bunny? Here he is. I'm just gonna hold his head here. Okay, so how can I do this so you guys? Yeah, you can see that. I can't see what you guys are saying, but there's one. He's saying, ow. I think this just might be the thing. I think this is a great idea, Deborah. Thank you. See, I love creative people. You guys are awesome. I can't say I would have thought of this. Okay. Ooh, ow. <laughs> Does, oh, whoops, I'm, not, I'm probably out of the camera, but dang, he's saying ow. <laughs> okay. There, they need to be softer. I'm thinking maybe shorter would do good. Whoops, that one's hitting that one. Oh, I got his nose a little bit big. If I pink it all out when it's dry, it'll be fine. I'm hitting that, hitting that ball of foil. There, busted through it. Shorter maybe, I don't know. I feel like they need to be soft though. I don't know, that's so sharp. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, I like, I like the idea and I like him having whiskers. Maybe once they're all white, I don't know, they look pretty sharp. Let me flip the phone up and see what you guys are thinking. Here, let me put his body back on him. Get the full effect. I, I'm like indifferent, I'm indifferent, I'm not sure. Here he is. I'm not sure you guys could see. Whoops, I got him way too. Hang on. Let me put it up here so I can see what you guys are seeing. <laughs> oh, man. It's almost a circus to be on this side of the camera. Okay. So here's his little bottom and his tail. He's rough. He's rough, you guys. <laughs> and then here he is. Oh, I think it'll be okay. You think softer? The broom straws or a stiff brush. Turn the toothpicks around. I blunt cut them though. Let me see. 
Yeah. Mickey, I, I'm getting, I'm picking up what you're putting down, right? <laughs> I had a guy that used to paint houses with me, Brian, and he always said that. <laughs> okay, I miss Brian. He moved to California. Oops, <laughs> you guys can see. Oh, that might be better. Mickey, you might be right. No, Terry says no. <laughs> softer okay you want me to let's see my chip brushes though would not be yeah he's looking like um the sci-fi bunny right <laughs> we don't want a sci-fi bunny okay let me pull that out <laughs> yes i put you all th through that for nothing sorry mr bunny <laughs> sorry little guy okay yep i think the softer bristles are right i think you're right Yeah, I turned the I turned them around. Oh, let's see. You, yeah, you told me that again. I think. Yeah, I did, and I still think they're too hard. I think I need something soft and wispy, um, and I don't think I can do. Um, like I have dental floss here, but I think that's going to be too floppy. Yeah, and how would I ever stick that in there? Forget that idea. I can't. I don't know how I ever stick that in there. You know what? I'll I'll come up with something. You guys will be seeing it in the picture, and if I remember, I'll post it to you and tell you what I came up with. The paintbrush bristles are a good idea. Um, my hands are getting so dry now. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll go look through my craft room. You guys know the drawers I have, right? You know, if anybody can find something, it'll be me. So I'll see what I come up with. My husband's out tinkering in the garage. Maybe he'll have an idea, too. He's kind of crafty and creative, so... All right, you guys, I'm going to go. It will be the mystery bunny, right? But I'll show them to you when we're all done, I promise. Have a great night. Love to see you over in our craft club. You guys are really, um, really creative and coming up with some great ideas. You should join us even for a month just to see what it's like. I'll see you. Thanks for watching tonight. Thanks for the hearts. Bye.